Expectations are a funny thing. The Demons can't believe they've done it. The Bombers simply had to. The preliminaries are over and the players realise they'll be there on football's biggest day. But some loyal supporters soon realise they won't. Very unhappy. By Monday, there's some sense of normality. The Bombers hit the training track. But this week is like no other. There's more of everything. More fans, more hype, and of course, more media. Everything is under scrutiny. It's the stuff Kevin Sheedy thrives on. Matthew Lloyd is just relieved to be out there as the news comes through that he won't face a video charge from a clash with Glenn Manton. But Monday is really about one thing, the Brownlow medal. I think Nathan Buckley, I think Cooter was outstanding in the middle of the year, but I think Buckley um, had a lot more outstanding games. Do you think Nathan Buckley? I mean, he polls well and he's obviously had a fantastic season. Cooter Birdies, West will all be worth, very, very worthy winners. And what about Nick Holland? How many votes will he get? Um, I personally counted about... 24. <laughs> that should just about get him over yeah, the line. Yeah, I think so. So we're looking at a, the Brownlow medalist. Congratulations, Nick. Yes, thanks very much. I'd, I'd like to thank my mum and my dad, especially my parents. It is a relaxing night for the football community. The season is over, but not for the favourites. Nervous, they all predict others to win. But for one, life is about to change. Uh, I think uh, Scotty West will win the award tonight. I think he's, uh, he deserved it. Such a consistent season and uh, great performance in the midfield all year for the Western Bulldogs. How do you go as far as tonight goes, considering the, uh, the big week that's ahead? Yeah, well, obviously, uh, we're on the waters all night, which uh, was a goal of ours uh, last week, and uh, we'll take it easy and uh, just have a quiet night. Enjoy the waters. Thanks a lot. Melbourne, S.Y. Woden. Yeah. Yeah. The joy for the Demons is overwhelming everyone, and even the coach gets yeah, caught up yeah. in it. All of a sudden, we're on a bit of a wave. One of their mates that won a brown load. Yeah. Hang on, what's going on here? Yeah. The next morning, and everyone wants a piece and just one more shot of Shane Wowoden. The special guest at the Carbine Club, his mind has already turned to more important matters. And in the afternoon, he's on more familiar territory, the MCG, as the Demons have their first hit out for the week. For the media, last chance to talk to the players. After this, there's no interviews, and the coach is the only spokesman. The full senior squad are trapped, but some like Matthew Phoebe have heavy hearts knowing they won't be selected on Saturday. The fans, though, are practicing with gusto. Wednesday, and it's another appointment for Woe Woden, this time with the kids at the Grand Final Super Clinic. Back at Windy Hill, and if possible, the media throng has grown even bigger. And while they wait, some dream of what might have been. The real things line up for their place in football history. The focus then turns to Darren Buick and Mark Johnson, who do enough to prove their fitness. Thursday, and somehow Kevin Sheedy finds time to take part in the vigorous debate about whether a woman should be on the AFL commission. I've only come to one, perhaps, more problem. But the only woman I met in the AFL at any meeting, was well, this year, that cost me $7,500. Thank you very much. The Junction Oval hasn't seen this many people or had this much attention in years. What could be better for the Demons fans than a lamb chop and a chance to cheer on the boys? Joseph Gutnick knows he won't see the game, but he's seen enough to know he's got a good return on his investment. The only heavy rain and the fitness and brute both soon brute is up. Brightness must be half empty. Children are everywhere as grand final week celebrations come spectacular end. Yeah, it's been a big week. Uh, you know, the start of the week has been gone out. Big one waiting uh, in Schwartz. It's been great. This is special, but uh, tomorrow hopefully will be even more special. I can't remember anything about 88, and uh, I really wish the guys that this is the time to remember it and uh, for the rest of your lives. And while everyone is thinking of tomorrow, it's hard not to get caught up in the moment. Captains get one last chance to get their hands on the prize. And then, as if there's any questions that hadn't yet been asked, there's time for one more media conference. But I guess the dream's about running on down the race in the last game of the year. I guess that's where, that's what you dream about. That's what it's all about. It's fantastic today, but it's a great tradition. As you can see, just coming out behind me now, led by their captain, David Nooch. Melbourne haven't made the grand final since 88, so I'm sure each and every one of these players are set to play a huge part in today's game.
For the first time since 1988, Melbourne was through to the grand final and ready for a week like nothing in sport. And a feeling to run out here, to enter the arena and to get in amongst all these people. It's just one of the memories that you'll never ever forget as a player. And I'm sure the Melbourne footy club players are their club very proud tonight. And the last one through the banner is a little bloke from Tambala a wheat farming town in Western Australia. We know him affectionately as the wizard, and it may just be his day. Let's go down to Hutto, and he's got Neil Danaher with him, Anthony. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Neil, the moment's arrived. Yeah, and uh, a big day, yeah. I want to take it all in. He made a tough decision with Cameron Bruce. Yeah, it was. It's always unfortunate for someone to miss out, but we wanted to go in with a side that was 100%. What were your last instructions to the boys? Uh, win the ball. <laughs> what are you expecting at the start? Uh, typical grand final, helter skelter. So it's important that we settle down early and get after the footy. And it's okay. Five speed.